Breaking news now, a 6.2 magnitude earthquake has struck near the city of Wellington in New Zealand. Reports are it was felt by thousands of residents, but it's unclear how much damage has been caused. It comes as the country is already in crisis. An army chopper over a disaster scene. This is the east coast of the North Island, an inland sea that has isolated thousands. And the view from a convoy of army trucks once lush grazing land swamped by cyclonic rain. The Hawke's Bay region is underwater, orchards field after field underwater, families isolated. The army is moving in, rescuing those in danger. 200 people so far have been airlifted. One family couldn't wait. Their car loaded up, water over the bonnet, headlong into a fast running flood water. Kids crying in the back. Somehow they defied the odds and made it through. And near Auckland, the township of Murawai, landslides that crushed homes and where a firefighter died. An estimated two and a half thousand people are homeless, but with roads still blocked, a full assessment is impossible. Princess Anne landing in Wellington today, delayed military duties to visit first responders, saying she admires the courage of Kiwis. Cyclone Gabriel is moving away into the Pacific, but it's left behind more than 100,000 still without power. The state of emergency remains for at least seven days. The Prime Minister is warning of a long and slow recovery. Mark Burroughs, Nine News.